Hello everybody, welcome to The Geek's Handbag, coming to you from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I hope you're all keeping well. So today I'm going to be diving into the handbag to pull this out to review. Oh no, I do love a bit of Kylie. Hang on, let me dig a bit deeper. Oh, here we go. Yes, is in fact this, the Doctor Who, the Sensorites vinyl from the Demon Music Group. And here it is, Doctor Who, the Sensorites original BBC TV soundtrack. The sticker says, Vinyl Who, the classic 1964 story complete on vinyl for the first time on three cents be a marble disc, which sounds very cool. So artwork looks great. It's in a nice thick box as well. Let's tear that cellophane off and have a closer look at it. Ta-da! So once again, we've got some really striking artwork on this release. At the top of the box, we've got the current Dot 2 logo, which looks good. And of course, we may be getting a new logo soon, now that RTD's back. Then we've got the Sensorite at the front with his big egg whisk and Sensorite Elder behind him pointing, saying, get them. In the background, we've got Susan being held captive by two Sensorites. So the front cover looks really, really nice. On the back of the box, we've got the TARDIS inside the Sensorite spaceship. And I really do love this big circular door. It really makes the artwork stand out. TARDIS looks great. There's lots of nice details and all the switches and dials in the background there. And then the bottom corner of the box, it tells us starring William Hartnell, written by Peter R. Newman, with linking narration by William Russell. So I really do love the style of artwork they use on these releases. And this one is no exception. It looks really, really nice. So let's open it up and see what we get inside. Oh, nice swirly vortex effect inside the front of the box. I like that. So this is new. We've got a giant art card of the front cover. I haven't seen them do that on previous releases. And that looked nice framed, actually. Plus, it's got Vinyl Who embossed in the corner there, which looks really good. So, yeah, I like that. Then we've got a giant booklet, which features the cast and credits list, which is very colourful. And then the three Sensepia Marble Distance Cells, which, as you can tell, all the covers will fit together to make up a giant version of the front and back covers. And we'll do that later. And then in the back of the box, we've got some more of that swirly vortex effect. Right then, let's take a look at the vinyls themselves, the Sensepia Marble Discs. It's a three vinyl set and all the covers on them look really nice. They also come with an inner sleeve with the vortex and the TARDIS in the middle, which looks good. And on the back, it gives us a bit more information about the episodes themselves. So we get the individual episode titles as well as the date that the episodes aired, a cast list and a short synopsis. So let's see, what does a Sensepia marble disc look like? Ooh, a really nice deep shade of blue. That's lovely, almost TARDIS blue actually. So the vinyls are all 140 gram and as well as being this gorgeous shade of blue, they also have this lovely swirly marble effect to them. So on side A we've got episode one, Strangers in Space. Episode 2, The Unwilling Warriors. This too, we've got Episode 3, Hidden Danger. And Episode 4, A Race Against Death. And finally, on Spear 3, we have Episode 5, Kidnap. And Episode 6, A Desperate Venture. Great titles on these episodes. They sound really exciting. So, three beautiful Sense Spear marble discs. But now what I want to do is put the sleeves together so we can see that big old sensor right. So you put the three sleeves together like this to build up the front cover. And then for the final piece, you use the giant booklet. And of course, when you flip the covers over, you get the TARDIS in the spaceship. So I think the overall packaging and artwork on this release is really nice. The Sensepia vinyls themselves look great. I love the shade of blue and the swirly effect on them. And when you give them a spin on the turntable, the audio sounds clear too. I've always had a soft spot for the Sensorites as a story. William Hartnell's great in it, and even Susan gets something to do. The story works well on audio, with William Russell doing a fine job providing linking narration. Just to be clear, this is the TV soundtrack that was previously released on CD, and not the reading of the audiobook that William did a few years ago. I'm a big fan of these Doctor Who vinyl sets that the Demon Music Group have been releasing, and the Sensorites is another great release to add to the collection. So there you are, another glorious release from the Demon Music Group. And if you'd like to get hold of one of these sets, I've put a link in the description below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do check out The Geek's Handbag on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget, I also do a weekly Doctor Who podcast with Gary that goes at every Friday called The Big Blue Box Podcast. So do you give that a listen. But until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye bye. Yeah.